Hey guys, this is Cook for Your Chemistry. My name is Sam, and you may know me from my blog as The Sexy Flexi. And today I'm going to be sharing with you some Asian fusion. This recipe is great for anyone with a beta oxidizer imbalance or anyone looking to avoid starches. Now when you think Asian fusion, I know it's turning in your head those noodles, those rices. I mean, I worked in a Japanese Korean restaurant for two years and that fried rice is some of the best I've ever had. Unfortunately, now that I'm avoiding the starches, I can't eat as much of it as I would like to. Today we're going to cook up some cauliflower fried rice with some seasoned chicken and you're going to love it. First, I've got a lovely array of vegetables here. Veggies in this are so flexible. Get what's in season, get your favorite. They have those frozen bags of stir fry. I've chosen some beautiful peppers, some mushrooms, some zucchini. I've also chopped up some bok choy here to get in your greens. Hopefully I don't have to tell you to wash this all first, but wash this all first. Next up, we have a couple eggs. You're gonna lightly beat them. Very classic scrambled egg in the fried rice. I also have some chicken here. It's just under a pound of chicken. To your chicken, add a little salt and pepper. You're gonna to wanna to cut it up into bite-sized pieces so it cooks evenly and so everyone gets to enjoy as much chicken as you do. And then you're gonna come over here to your rice. It's really, really easy to make cauliflower rice. All you need is a classic cheese grater. You're gonna take your head of cauliflower and you're just gonna grate away. Yes, it takes some muscle power, but you'll be happy with your end result. So once I have all my ingredients assembled, I'm going to go ahead and make my pan hot. And you're going to add in about two tablespoons of coconut oil. So I know you think this rice is probably sounding a little bland, and that's why I've got this lovely blend of spices here for you. In here we got some ginger, some pepper, some onion powder, some garlic powder, and my favorite ingredient is a little bit of nutmeg. I know, it sounds really weird to be using nutmeg in a savory dish, but trust me, it really balances those flavors out. Next up, four cloves of garlic. Yes, four. Yes, it's a lot. Just do it. And finally, in our Asian fusion, wouldn't be complete without some soy sauce or a soy sauce alternative. In here, we got about three tablespoons that we'll throw on just at the end. My pan over here is nice and hot, so the first thing we're going to throw in is our vegetables. Now the reason I'm doing my veggies first is because they won't take as much time as my egg or my chicken, so I don't want them sitting in there for too long. Now that my veggies are just starting to wilt, it's the perfect time to throw my chicken in the pan. All right, so my chicken is just about done. You can see some brown spots, looking tasty. So now we're gonna throw in our eggs and our garlic. Make sure to keep everything moving once you add the eggs to the pan, because you don't want to end up with a chicken omelet. Once the eggs don't look wet anymore, you're gonna throw a touch more coconut oil back into the pan, and then it's time for our rice. All right, now that my cauliflower is in the pan, I want to combine everything really well and keep it moving really fast. So the key to cooking your cauliflower rice is making sure it's just done enough without being too mushy. This means keeping it moving in the pan for about one minute. You can test it by kind of holding your hand over the cauliflower and if you feel the heat coming back at you, you know you're good. Now that my rice is just about finished cooking, I'm going to add back in my vegetables. Always keep it moving. We'll throw in our spices. Because everything is steaming itself, those spices are going to be incorporated really well, so just keep stirring it. Last but not least, I'm going to add in my soy sauce, or soy sauce alternative. The reason you don't do this in the very beginning is because the soy sauce will actually burn on the pan and you will not be a happy camper. Alright, and once everything is good and combined and hot, you're going to turn off your heat. And there you have it, your cauliflower chicken fried rice little Asian fusion. You got your veggies and your protein all in one place. Grab a pair of chopsticks, or not, and dig in.